Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Or Daemon Hunters, depending on how you'd like to pronounce that. Hello, uh, it's Mac, and I'm back with uh, episode 2 of my uh, playthrough. My first playthrough of uh, this game here, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Yes, thank you all so much for your support of the first episode, which uh, went live a couple days ago. Uh, I'm going to continue with my standard difficulty campaign and uh, basically roll into the first real mission of the campaign post-tutorial. Yes, we had just played the tutorial mission uh, last on the last episode, uh, got to learn the mechanics and did a bit of a dithering around on our home base, which is this uh, strike cruiser, the Baleful Edict. But it's now it's on to the real game. It's on to the real game. So um, we have some intel on our upcoming mission. Uh, it's a light infestation. And is there some poxes happening? And then we have unknown minions of chaos in in the vicinity. Commander, it is our duty to support mm -hmm. this inquisitor. Mm -hmm. But we should complete this task as swiftly as we can. The Grand Masters on Titan are waiting for our report. And and we shall we shall fulfill our duty that we will. Okay. So uh, there's no other options at this point but to start the mission. Uh, we're still being kind of railroaded down the new player experience path, so to speak. It's technically still the tutorial, I suppose. Report. Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. You should evaluate your knight's armaments and ensure they are best suited to the battle at hand. Press X to configure this knight's equipment. Okay, nice. Yep, uh, we're still being tutorialized, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, so a quick recap on the story. So uh, we have just, this group of Grey Knights, uh, Grey Knights are uh, an elite chapter of Space Marines. They are all psychers. They specialize in fighting uh, demons from the warp. And they're very powerful. Uh, like I said, they're an, an elite army. And uh, they've just finished a particularly grueling mission in which they lost their uh, captain. They lost their captain to a battle with a, a very powerful demon. Uh, you as the player are um, next in line to replace the captain to lead this, this band of warriors. Uh, and then you guys are, we're planning to head back to home base to uh, you know lick your wounds and to repair the ship, which is badly damaged. But on route, you are intercepted by uh, an inquisitor uh, by the name of Vakir. It's the lady you saw on the bridge there, uh, the lady with the white hair, scar on her face. So uh, she is on her own mission. She's commandeered your uh, ship, the Baleful Edict, and she's basically commanded you, ordered you, to go investigate uh, what's called the Bloom. Uh, some kind of uh, warp infestation that believed to be uh, caused by the uh, the demon god or demon lord Nurgle. Um, so that yeah, that's, it. that's the extent of the uh, setup uh, of the campaign right now. So on on to uh, customizing our our dudes here. We're going to be customizing Ulrich Iolanthus. Uh, he is a uh, Jesticar. Jesticars are, uh, I believe, to be all purpose, beefy boy, battle, battle people. 
and I'm being forced to upgrade the melee weapon the that he has. Force halberd can inflict a preemptive first strike on an adjacent enemy. I suggest you equip this weapon. Okay, we're gonna switch to the halberd. I, I'm. Oh, I. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Three different flavors of halberd. Um, this one uh, is, has four strike. Activate to add plus one damage to this melee attack. There's also something called auto first strike, 25% one turn. One per turn, I guess, is what it means. Uh, if an enemy moves adjacent to this unit, it has a chance to strike automatically. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Derek's Reach also has four strike, activate, add plus one damage to melee attack. Also has the auto first strike. Uh, this one has crit. This chance has a five plus five percent crit. Must be crit chance. And then the final one is Ector's Reach. Also has four strike, has the auto first strike, and it has crit damage. This weapon has a plus one crit damage bonus. Okay, well, it seems to be no point in choosing the generic halberd because it's missing that the the third uh, attribute or the third perk. Uh, so it's a choice between having more crit chance or increasing the crit damage. I'm going to go for an increased crit chance. So Derek's reach. There we go. And then we simply go back. And back again. And back one more time. And then all the way back to the teleportarium. Hey, wait a second. Can't I uh, customize my other knights? It's telling me to start the mission, but I wanna... Yeah, yeah, let's just customize everyone else. Why not, right? Load out. Can I... Uh... Oh, these are all class restricted. Oh no, Storm Shield is class restricted. Okay, so I currently have... Psy a Psy Cannon, right? Is that what I currently have equipped? No. Yes. I can change to a Storm Bolter. I have a choice, again, of uh, two superior Storm Bolters. There's Derek's Bolter with the extra crit chance again. And then uh, this one called Forgiveness, which has the plus one crit damage. Uh, let's go for the crit damage. Let's go for forgiveness. How's that? Weird. I switched to the bolter and in the uh, in the center panel, it just shows them holding the sword. That's that's odd. But yeah, I got I got the. Uh... Let's just uh, keep keep the generic sword on them, I guess. Or no, we can we can switch it up. Okay, there's no cost to switching to these weapons, it's not like I have to buy. They're just already in my inventory, so that's nice. Oh shoot, I upgraded, I promoted uh, Iolanthus on the last, uh, oh shoot, on, on the last uh, episode here. And I do remember, oh no, 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 don't start the mission. Yep. I do remember uh, choosing the defensive path. So more armor. Gives them the ability to um, equip Terminator armor. So there we go. Sweet action. And you only get one option of Terminator armor. Get plus two armor. And then it says Tactical Dreadnought. This knight is immune to knockback effects from enemies of equal size. Put it on. Look how beefy. He's become. That's nice. Looking proper Terminator Space Marine now. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you can do with this loadout. And you can choose the grenades. There's not a lot of options there. You choose servo skills. 
Can I just... I had nothing equipped before. Yeah, why not just equip it? Is there like... There's no limit. Is there? Is there a limit? I'm just giving all the good stuff to... Uh, Iolanthus now. But... Uh, yeah, let's see if there's any sharing that happens. Let's go to... Uh, Darig Thule. Load out. Let's do the same thing again. Uh, war gear slot. Got a grenade, yeah. Give him the servo skull. Oh, what I have? What did I have before? I thought I saw something in the war gear slot. No? Okay. And then equipment. Yeah, why not? Everyone, everyone, get a get yourself a sacred incense. Get more uh, willpower as a passive. It's like, why the hell not? Oh, I see. You can either choose a servo skull or you can choose the incense thingamajigger. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's give this guy the uh, healing. And then, yeah. Let's give that guy the healing. And I'll. Oh, oops. Wrong, wrong button. Atlantis, I will, um... Yeah, good, I, I already got this. Okay, Secret Incense, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted to, I wanted to give Atlantis more willpower. He's gonna be, like, leading the charge, be a man of action. Let's see what the do more per turn. Um, next up is Voldred Storm. Gotta love these names. He is also, uh, oh, he's an interceptor. So, Purgator, I wish they would explain what the difference in, like, what the class differences are. Like, what is a di the difference between a Jesticar and a Purgator and an interceptor? Apothecary is pretty self explanatory. They're the, uh, they're the medics, more or less. Purgator, I don't know. <laughs> Interceptor. I think the Interceptor is like the range specialist. I. Somebody correct me in the comments, please. Okay, so he only gets to use a Storm Bolter, which he already has equipped. Melee weapon. Oh, he can do a hammer? Fuck yeah. Look at that. Yeah, crit chance on the hammer. I am going crit chance on the on the melee weapons, apparently, so. Look at that hammer. I love uh, how I already have all these weapons. I don't want to buy buy them. Should I, should I make them a dual wield these uh Falchions? Uh this ten percent crit chance. Let's, let's, oh yeah, it's dual wield. This looks cool. This looks cool. <laughs> it's all about looking cool, right? Okay. Uh, war gear slot. I will also make him a man of action. So he's got uh, extra willpower. I'm sure that... The, oh, wait. Oh, look at that. I can only have a grenade or... Oh, I see. It's basically a choice. Pick one. That's what the one means, I guess. Now, now I'm figuring it out. Okay, now actually, I would actually want more guys to have grenades, actually. <laughs> so let's give a grenade to Voldred Storm. And do I want to rethink my choice of? Let's give him a grenade too. Let's go hard on the grenades for this for this first mission. There you go. All right, and one more guy. We have uh, a Agier Harn. His names. 
Range weapon, he's got a storm bolter. Does he have an option or anything else? He does not. Melee weapon. He's got the Narthesium. What the hell is that? This is a, oh, it's a stave, right? No. What the hell is the Narthesi? What is what type of weapon is that? It's like a wrist-mounted Assassin's Creed style wrist. Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. Jesus Christ! What is this supposed to be? Well, we're not going for the standard one because it's not as good. Uh. Oh, it heals. It's like a healing stick, but also use you can use for offense. Got it. <laughs> I have a Narthesium. Wear your slot. Uh, well, but default is a grenade. But. He's the healer, so let's make him do more healing. Okay, almost done here. Actually, I changed my mind about Ulrich. Like I said, I want to go hard on grenades for this first outing. Let's let's get used to our grenade gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I want to rethink his ranged weapon? He's only got the Storm Bolter. Somebody's ranged weapon I want to switch. I think it was uh, Derek here. Since he he's the only one that has a choice of other weapons besides the Storm Bolter. So he's a Purgator. So it just makes sense to have the Incinerator maybe. Flame up some guys. So this one's called Demon Slayer as it's special. Actually, this weapon deals plus one damage against demonic targets. Or you can go for Song of Purity, which has Afflict Purge. Afflicted targets lose all mutations. I know in this first mission, we're just gonna be fighting cultists. So maybe this isn't super useful. P P Silencer. Is this more of like a long range weapon or something? Oh, it's like a shotgun. Huh. Psy cannon. I'm gonna try a psy cannon. Let's try the psy cannon. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready for the, the to start this. Start this dealio. I'm finally ready. Wait a second. How come? No. Keep pressing A by accident. Melee weapon. How come it? Uh, I thought I put uh, Falchions on this guy. Right? There's a conflict? This armament is currently equipped to Voldred Storm. Oh, okay, so there's only one, so let's not do that. I, I think this guy had the hammer, right? There we go. Oh, okay, if I go for the hammer, it doesn't allow me to use the Psy Cannon. Why? Can I use the P Silencer? Oh no, it unequips the- Okay, so if you want to use the hammer, you just gotta use the standard storm bolter. Which, which actually, that's fine. That's fine. If they will allow me to now equip the hammer. <laughs> Demon hammer. There we go. 
Finally. Okay, I, uh, we're f I'm finally ready to begin the begin this mission. Oh my goodness. I am now ready to start. Yes. Whew. Took a while, but you know, I have to make sure I'm, I'm properly equipped for the mission. Uh, don't go into my pants down. I mean, never mind the fact that everyone already had some default armaments equipped already, and I could have just gone in quickly. But yeah, I, I wanted to tinker. All right. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. <laughs> Kill all enemies. Very, very simple objectives here. here. Yes, Commander. So I will move uh, Ulrich first. There's no zoom in, zoom out. I don't believe. Is there? No, there is not. Okay. He's just gonna charge ahead. Yes. Be wary, my brothers. Okay. Um, if we move again, then I don't think I don't think I'll be able to set Overwatch. Fine. I'm in heavy cover. I'm in like full cover as well. This is a good spot for me to be. I know if I just inch forward a little bit, I'm gonna activate enemies. I just know it, so. I am here to serve. Let's move up, uh, yeah, beefy boy hammer, hammer man. Let's move him up. Okay, so uh, let's put, Let's do the Overwatch after all. Oh, this is a, this is a limit to where I can point. It's kind of dumb. Seriously. Apothecary, he can stay back a little bit. Did you really have to vault the stairs like that? Oh, seems a little excessive. Uh, interceptor. Let's move everyone up as far as we can. Put everyone together. That's it. Our turn is... Okay, so they moved. Enemy moved already, which is very quick. And that's our, that's our turn. I want to move... Darig here. Taking position. Nice. Here we are, the cultists. The Look them scatter. The hunt Hunkered. Setting Overwatch. Enemy sighted. Unit info, you can review detailed information about unit status and abilities, highlight the enemy and press Y to view. Okay, we have uh, Nurgle Heavy Stubber here. He's very twitchy. He's in hunker down status. Boom, this unit gains plus one armor. Let's get the hunker down. Active abilities, pass abilities, auto abilities, armaments, heavy stubber, coldest fist. <laughs> okay. What was this A for precision targets? Oh, okay. So from right here, I can try to. Disable range weapons. I can just try and shoot the weapon out of his hands. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, but I kind of want to do this guy instead. 
Let me try doing that to this guy. There we go. I can go for a stun or go for the disable. Let's go for the disable. Confirm. Okay, I selected it and then what? Weird. Weird. Did I actually do anything? What was the whole deal of the setting the precision targets before? You know what? I think this this calls for a grenade, actually. Forget forget the Look at that. It's perfect. Perfect. That was easy. <laughs> Cultists go boom. Cultists go boom. Let's move up a little bit, stay in cover, and then we have enough points to even set some uh, overwatch even. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Next up, let's uh, get to... At your command. At your service. Or just guard it to start charging in. It's a sexy looking halberd. Oh, I can still do Overwatch, eh? I can't, I'm too far to go hit him. I'll just stay in cover. And next turn I can reach reach the guy. So, um Okay, I don't need to use this. The psychic boon. Since I'm in cover, I'm not really at risk of being hit. Um yeah, I guess let's go for the overwatch as well. Oops. I have to aim. Yeah, try that. There we go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get all the overwatch going. Oh, more enemies are coming. Should I should I set overwatch that way? They have to go up this hill over here, so. Could set Overwatch here in case they come with the ramp. So we'll go side by side. We're getting kind of clumped together a bit much here. Yeah. He hasn't moved. Oh. oh, he didn't move, so he didn't trigger the Overwatch for my team. Oh, come on now. Who wants to go smash this boyo? Your orders ready to serve. Your command. Can I get him? I'm gonna be I'm going straight into his line of fire here. Standing ready, praise the Emperor. Your orders? Ah. If I can, if I can range attack, I can't. Interesting. Well, is he smart enough to be able to just move to the side here? And then if I go like that. There's a melee, that counts as a melee attack. Damn it. Can I just go like that? There we go. We can plot out the path. That's much better. 
try and stun him. Melee attack confirm. There we go. And then he's no longer um, overwatching. I broke him out of it. So I'm just gonna fish him off with uh, Ulrich here. See you later. Stabbed. Okay. Let's get under some cover. We're gonna do some uh, Overwatch action. Oh, you you got some uh, you got some juice left yourself. At once, Commander. Okay. Here, why don't you just post up? Advancing. At once, Commander. Yeah, no one's getting up that ramp. No one. Yeah, I don't want to just move this guy on the open like that, so I don't know. Oh, look at that jump. Impressive. Oh, I have a teleport. I can teleport as it enters up there. Okay. Oops. Are trained and ready. <laughs> Being very uh, defensive here, and nobody came close, so that was all for nothing. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Alanthus, uh, get it, get in there, get in there, boy. Yes. Be wary, my brothers. Hmm. Purgator, he's going to. I, am with you. I think he's going to use up all his AP. Yeah. And this is our apothecary. Just went to 60%. That doesn't seem good. Oops. That's not, not what I want. Standing ready. I want to move. There's just a quick way to select. Um, oh, there's a zoom. It's very limited. Very, very limited. You have like three three levels basically. Yeah, and the farthest zoom is not very far at all. So there's two potential spots where enemies can come out of. There's not a lot of cover points. This makes it kind of tricky. There we go. Triggered the enemies finally. <laughs> Wait, that creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. 
This is no natural play. Pollux Walkers, eh? Entering combat. Your characters automatically refresh their action points when entering combat and reload their ammunition when the enemies have been defeated. Okay. So now that I've uh, triggered the enemy to be revealed and to move, it means the AP I use to move into that position, I get it back? Is that what it means? That, if so, that that's, that's good because... That's part of what bugs me about these XCOM style tactics games is that you have to cross an invisible line on the battlefield to make the enemies show up and actually move. Uh, they're just kind of waiting there to be triggered, so that's, that's, yeah. I think I could just stay here and just do an overwatch because they only have one way to come and they're all melee attackers it seems like yeah so Taking position. interceptor I will also get them to do overwatch ready to fire this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Should be. Let's keep the guy in cover. Also get him overwatching. Ready to fire. And finally we have the Purgator. I don't know. Advancing. Everyone, everyone just overwatch. Well, I can't overwatch that well because he's behind full cover, possibly. <sighs> Huh. If I move again, can I uh, still do Overwatch or no? Let's see. Ah, oh, I can't. Okay, well, the. I will not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech free. Oh shit, they made it. I will follow proper protocols. They made it to, to, to my uh, purgator. Give him one little poke. Uh, it's my turn. My turn to strike. Ooh, it's a one hit kill. I like that. I just do a standard strike. It's gonna blast them. There we go. May as well take care of the other guy with your hammer. Satisfactory effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. Oh, that's it. Okay, I thought there was—I thought there was another area where enemies were gonna come in from. Well, never mind then. I do uh, enjoy the look of this game for the most part. It's very pretty. With just that. A slight tinge of cartoonishness to the to the aesthetics that I'm I'm not quite down with. As you can see in some of the faces, like Inquisitor Vakir looks rather cartoonish, doesn't she? An ill omen success. We have located evidence of vile pox walkers on this planet. The Plague Lord's work. We have recovered a body so that Inquisitor Vakir can investigate further. Seeds collected, none. We succeeded in killing all enemies. Mission rewards, we have plus 15 servitors. Uh, zero corruption, no armory access. It's pretty, pretty uneventful in terms of rewards. Nobody got promoted. Sucks. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest 
wishes to speak with you in the Libris. Let's go to Libris. I am assuming that means library. Yeah, they look uh, so cartoonish looking. It's, it's kind of weird. I must commend you on this impressive archive of demonic law, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I must insist, however, on beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. Okay, so she's like the research lab, essentially. Libris Malleus. Research rate 100%, st stratagems 0 of 18, it's day 1, uh, hit Y button to uh, get the research menu, we can also talk to Vakir, oh we cannot, huh, never mind, it's shaded out, that means it's not available, Mac. I will conduct a necropsy of the recovered corpse to see what I can learn. Kinky. Choose the Pollock Walker Necro Necropsy Research Project. A. Let us choose that. Pollock Walker Necropsy. Research time 38 days. I mean, it's only her doing the research, so it's a lot of reading and like poking and prodding, right? So. The Pollock Walkers we discovered on Koromar are a sign of some malevolent forest behind this plague. I am certain that within the carcasses of the infected, I will find further clues to its source. Yeah, let's research. Let's research that I shit. Begin at once. Inform your crew that I am not to be disturbed. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna be busy, uh, you know, polishing our swords and axes and and hammers. Don't you worry. We'll leave you alone. Commander, I toil with a critical lack of resources. I request you attend me in the Manufactorum. To the Manufactorum. Everybody wants something. What you want. So much gravitas to Every little transition, <laughs> every little transition in this game, it's just so much pomp and gravitas. My servitors have restored the manufactorum to operational use, but the edict remains severely damaged. Look at that red. Without access to mm -hmm. a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby inquisitorial enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the Edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. Yo, I'm the leader here. I'll decide what takes absolute primacy, my boy. Uh, manufacturing construction rate, 100%. Servitor production suspended. Plasma reactor damaged. Construction locked. Augmentation chamber damaged. Servitor production offline. Augurium Ar damaged. Prognostic cars are offline. We're in a bad, we're in a bad way, aren't we? Ship status. The edict's power output in order to conduct more extensive repairs. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so construction log, the plasma reactor has been damaged and rendered inoperative. Until we repair it, our reconstruction efforts cannot progress. Repair result, construction unlocked. Okay. This will take eight servitors, six days. Let's do it. Let, let the wait begin. I must now interface with the logic engines. I trust you have a great deal to attend to. Mm-hmm, I do, I do. Go to star map. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. I suggest we bide our time until the Dominus restores power to our scanners. Select the advanced time option. Uh huh. Very much like XCOM, where you kind of spin the globe and advance time super fast. Yeah. Let's try it. has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. It sounds like we got some tough choices to make. Ship project complete, repair plasma reactor. Commander, I have completed repairs to the plasma reactor. Our reconstruction efforts can proceed once again. Fabulous. Start a new project. Let's talk to uh, actually. Uh, let's pause here. Um, just want to make a very short uh, episode for the second outing. Uh, we did uh, uh, another mission, and we kind of uh, are starting to get our feet wet in terms of just like the in between management of the ship and of research and things like that. So I'm going to uh, close it here, uh, do a, do another save, of course. Just overwrite, let's just overwrite the... There we go. And we'll continue uh, our sort of repair projects and get into the next mission on the uh, next episode of this... Uh, long play series of uh warhammer 40k chaos guy demon hunters thank you once again for watching i do very much appreciate you all do like the video if you've enjoyed uh this little snippet of of gameplay and uh yeah stay tuned uh probably later next week perhaps early next week for the uh episode three until then uh you all take care and i'll see you all later Bye for now.